everybody, welcome back. It's good to see you, and I hope you're ready for another PPH online Sunday school class. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm so happy to meet you. Go ahead and like this post and share where you're from, share your name, and we love it when you say hi. So um, before we do anything else, I mean, we really, really are excited to get into the Word, but before we do anything else, what's the first thing that we do? Tell me. That's right, we pray. And the fastest way to get alone with Jesus and to hear his voice, we just need to shut our eyes, and there you go. You're here and you're alone with Jesus, and we're gonna pray and ask him to bless our time together. Lord Jesus, we're so thankful for you. We're thankful for your word and we're thankful for Sunday school. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just come in and visit with us and be with us today. We invite you into our home. We invite you into our room today. And we ask that you would help us to listen, to obey, and to hide your word in our hearts this week. Help us to do what you want us to do, Lord. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good job, everybody. Jesus loves your prayers. And since Jesus is here and he's welcome, let's worship him together. Everybody up? We're going to worship together. Are you ready? Yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so clap your hands just like this. Come on. Go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, go. Hey. Hey. Oh. oh, one more time now. worship. He loves your worship. So how did you do with last week's challenge? How did you do about trying your best to please Jesus and do the right thing? Was it easy or was it hard? Hmm. Sometimes it can be hard to do the right thing and Jesus knows that. But Jesus loves us and he helps us to do the right thing. So 
So I hope you had a great week. And um, just remember, even if it's hard, Jesus can help us. Okay, so we've got a new memory verse poster up here. And we're going to read that together, okay? And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Okay? Elisha was um, a friend of Elijah. He was an apprentice. He was somebody who followed Elijah and helped him. And remember, we learned about Elijah. Elijah was a prophet of God. He was a man of God, a preacher. And he would go and um, he would visit people and he would do things for the Lord. And Elisha would follow him. And Elisha wanted what Elijah had. He realized that God was blessing Elijah and he wanted that blessing too. But he didn't just want what Elijah had. He wanted more. Okay? Have you ever seen or uh, been around somebody that you're just like, man, I would love to be like them. They're so good at whatever, singing, preaching, playing baseball, whatever it is. You say, I want what they have, but Elisha wanted double of what Elijah had, okay? So here at the Kingdom Repair Shop, we are helping people, we fix things, okay? And we usually have a manual. If you get an electronic or you get a game or you get a piece of equipment, it usually has a little guide and tells you how to use it, okay? And or how to fix it if it breaks. And just like that, we have a manual. Our Bible is our manual. It tells us how to follow Jesus, how to follow him and, and what to do in our lives. That's why it's so important for us to read it and memorize it and put it in our hearts, okay? So here at the Kingdom Squad Repair Shop, we repair things. And this reminds me of going to church. I know so many of us are not able to go to our church building, but we're still able to have church. When we come to church, when we gather for church, even if it's in our living rooms, God can still repair our hearts and fix those things that are broken in our lives. We can allow God to help us if we follow him. So this week's um, life application is, I will follow God. Can you say that with me? I will follow God. Great job. So this week we're going to learn how we can follow him. And one word that we're going to learn is persistence. <gasps> That's a big word. Persistence. Can you say that? It's a hard word. Persistence. To be persistent is to keep going no matter what. And Elisha was persistent after Elijah. He wanted what Elijah had. And he said, please give me a double portion of what you had. He was persistent. He kept going. Okay. So we're going to see how persistent you are. Okay. So I want you to find a penny or a quarter or a dime or a nickel, whatever you have, a coin. You can look in your couch cushions. There's probably change in there. Go ahead. Look through the cushions. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> okay, so find a coin, okay? And we're gonna see if we can catch it from our elbow, okay? Some of you may have already tried this. Okay, so I want you to touch your shoulder with your dominant hand. That means the hand that you use the most when you're writing or playing. So touch your shoulder with your hand, okay? and point your elbow out in front of you, okay? So it's straight across, okay? And without moving your arm, turn your palm, your palm up, okay? And I want you to place your coin on your elbow, okay? 
Now we're gonna try to catch this when it drops, okay? So, let's see if I can do it. Oh, so close. Okay, let's try it again. You try it again, okay? Did you do it? Did it work the first time? Okay, let's try it one more time. So we put our, touch our shoulder, okay? We put our elbow up, we put our palm up, put our penny there, and drop your, oh, I caught it! You guys, I caught it! You have no idea how many times I practiced. I was persistent, okay? Did you catch it? Did you do it? Okay, we're gonna try one more time, okay? So do it again, okay? Touch your, touch your shoulder, put your elbow up, put your coin on, okay? Make sure your palm is up. <gasps> I know it's just a coin and it's just a trick, but this is fun. Okay? I didn't think I could do it. Did you think you could do it? Was it hard or was it easy? Okay? How many times did it take you to get it right? Were you persistent or did you give up? And say, ah, I can't do it. Now, if I would have given up, and said, I can't do it, then I wouldn't have been able to get excited and say, hey, look what I can do, okay? Sometimes God's instructions, they're easy to follow, but sometimes they're not. When I first read how to do that trick, I was like, there's no way I can do that. But look, I did it, okay? Still, it's always rewarding to follow God. You will never regret it. So I will follow God. I did it. I'm so excited. Okay. <clears throat> so let's jump into the lesson today about Elisha and Elijah. Okay. Our Bible memory verse is found in 2 Kings. I'm sorry. Yep. 2 Kings 2 and 2. Paula, can you look that up for us? <clears throat> and Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. Awesome. Okay. So Elisha was persistent. Okay, I will not leave thee. I'm going to follow you and I'm going to help you. Okay, so the day had arrived. Um, Elijah, the prophet of God, he said he was going to leave. His servant Elisha knew it. The young men who attended the school of prophets knew it. Everybody was wondering, when is he going to leave? Where is he going? Okay. So right now, I want you to get your activity paper out, and you're going to follow after a story using your activity paper, okay? And if you don't have your activity paper, that's okay. You can draw along. You can follow along the story and draw on your own, okay? So Elijah and Elisha were at their headquarters. They had been going to school. They had been learning, and they were at the headquarters. And Elijah said, stay here, Elisha. God has told me to go to Bethel. And Elisha said, no, I will not leave you. So in the first picture, go ahead and trace the words that Elisha told Elijah. No, I will not leave you. Then they went to Bethel, where the young prophets from the school asked Elisha, did you know the Lord is going to take your master away today? Elisha said, yeah, yeah, I've heard about that. I know about that, but I don't want to talk about it. Elisha told his servant, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Jericho. Elisha answered, as the Lord lives and you do too, I will not leave you. He was persistent. He wasn't going to give up. So in picture number two, go ahead and trace Elijah. 
on they went to Jericho. So they're walking along to Jericho. And another group of young prophets asked Elisha, do you know where the Lord is going to take your master today? Elisha said, yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. Elisha didn't want to think about Elijah leaving. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to the Jordan River. So God was sending him and sending him. And Elijah wanted Elisha to stay, but Elisha did not want to stay. He wanted to follow after the prophet of God. So he said, as the Lord lives and you live, I will not leave you. He was still very persistent. So on they went to the Jordan River and 50 young men from the school of prophets stood at a distance and watched. How are they going to get across? So Elijah took off his mantle. Okay, he had a mantle and he took it off. He rolled it up and it hit the water. Okay, the water divided to the right and left. Elijah and Elisha crossed on dry ground. What? Man, that's really awesome. So in picture number three, go ahead and color in Elijah's mantle. Okay. After they crossed, Elijah asked his servant, what can I do for you before I go away? And Elisha said, give me a double portion of your power. And he said, you have asked a hard thing, but if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Okay. The two men walked along and Elisha did not take his eyes off his master. I want to see him and I want to see when he's taken because I want that double portion. He was persistent. And then suddenly a chariot and horses of fire, they swooped down and they separated Elijah and Elisha. Elijah vanished. He was gone. And all that was left was the mantle that came floating to the ground. So in picture number four on your activity paper, go ahead and trace or color in Elijah and the chariot. Elisha yelled, Father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen. He picked up the mantle and he walked back to the Jordan River. He struck the water just as Elijah had, and it divided right and left just like Elijah did. Elisha walked across on dry land. Here's a picture of the chariot coming to get Elijah. And he receiving a double portion. The young prophets were watching, they were amazed. They said, Elisha now has the power that Elijah had. So why do you think Elisha kept following Elijah? He wanted Elijah's power. What was Elisha's reward for being persistent? He got that mantle from Elijah. He got that double portion. Now, what if Elisha had stayed at Bethel and not followed? What if he said, I'll just stay here, and he wasn't persistent? God would never have given him the mantle, the power that Elijah had. Elisha wanted to do double the things that Elijah had done. Elijah had done great things for God and he, and he helped people and he performed miracles and he did so many wonderful things. But because Elisha did not quit, God answered his prayer. Because he kept following God and his leader, his life was full of miracles. He followed God. Okay, I will follow God. We want to be like Elisha and follow after God. 
okay? So remember this repair shop poster we had that told us how we can be persistent. We can also be filled up, okay? God fills us with the Holy Ghost. Remember, we pray and we repent. We say, God, clean out my heart. And then we're baptized and we're God's, we're his children. And then when our hearts are empty and clean, he can fill us up and we can have that power. The Holy Ghost inside of us is just like that power that Elisha wanted. You know, we have a pastor, we have people that we see at church and, and they are blessed and we want those blessings. And that Holy Ghost inside of us is that power, okay? So, what do we want? Do we want blessings and miracles? Don't quit, don't give up, okay? Be persistent like Elisha was. Follow after God with all of your heart and don't give up. God is going to bless you. He's going to fill you up and he's going to give you lots of blessings in your life. I will not quit. Okay, so let's pray today. Let's pray that God would help us to be persistent and help us to follow him and that he would fill us up with his spirit and that power. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for giving us power and power to live a good life and power to help people and do wonderful things for you. Lord, I want that power in my life. I want your spirit in my life. I want you to fill my heart with your spirit, Lord. I will not quit. I will not give up. I want to see what you have for me in my life. Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Help me be full of the Holy Ghost and help me to see miracles just like Elijah. Help me to see those signs and wonders just like we read in the Bible. I know I can have those in my life. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for filling us. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us make good choices and do good things. And Lord, having that power in our life. Lord, I love you. I love you and I thank you, Jesus, for your power and your spirit and the peace that we have. And we're full of you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, everybody. I pray you have a great week this week. And I pray that you are persistent in following after God. We'll see you next time. All to Jesus I surrender all to him my free. Presence daily live. I